My name is Megan Leslie. I am a co-founder and CEO of Nanotest Inc. Well, my name is Julian and I am the co-founder and chief operating officer of Nanotest. It actually was a beautiful Calgary story. Our third co-founder, Dr. Lopez, started her career in oil and gas as a specialist in catalysts. And she worked with some of the bigger companies um, to help them refine their processes through catalytic nanoscience. And from there, she ended up pivoting her career into medicine and saw that the body was made out of similar bonds that she was manipulating within the oil and gas environment. We are now in a field that she's created that is on the bridge of nanomedicine and catalytic designs within nanomedicine. Chronic wounds are a huge problem. They're so common and the problem impacts so many people. Um, but the amount of people who actually know about it, it seems to not align to the size of the problem. So diabetic foot ulcers are just one type of chronic wound and they're so big that every 20 seconds someone will lose a limb in the world. And from those who lose the limb, um, almost 70% will end up passing away within the next five years because the mortality rate of amputation is actually second only to lung cancer. So it's higher mortality rate than any other form of cancer. Our product is called NanoSelf and it's an, it's an antimicrobial gel that is designed as a liquid dressing. So the advantage of a liquid dressing is that it moves away from all the challenges of solid dressings and patches that they never fit a wound so you need something that conforms to all those concave surfaces or really hard to reach surfaces. That is what NanoSelf allows us to do. Um, it creates a conforming surface that it becomes a barrier for like elements that would harm the wound. We were purposeful in the design of the product in that we wanted it to be designed with the human at the center. So not thinking about it from the perspective of what is traditional within wound care and patch solutions like bandages, but really thinking about it from the perspective of how would a user want to have a product? And it narrowed the field right into being a gel because concavity is an aspect of chronic wounds. They need to be able to penetrate within the wound bed and not just on the top if, like our intact skin would. With the gel, we're able to get into all those nooks and crannies within the wound. The other piece is designing it so that it has a non-oily feel. Ours is designed with water-based so that you really have a nice, clean feeling wound. It's part of a perception, but also a benefit of having a liquid wound dressing like a gel. It would be, like, like the name says, like validate the technology. All technology starts in the laboratory perspective. And as you keep going, like there's a lot of other challenges like manufacturing, piloting, expanding. So taking that um, laboratory technology all the way to pilot scale, proof of concept with uh, certified manufacturing, it's a huge step for a company to do in under two years that we've been in existence. So being able to take uh, healthcare technology to where we are at uh, is Thankfully, it was done and supported by the programs from Alberta Innovates. We were able to move very quickly and gain the right amount of mentorship. So we were able to design and uh, implement a quality management system directly for Nanotest, which was then audited by a third party notificiary in order to get our ISO for manufacturing. So we're now able to actually manufacture medical devices um, from that ISO. Our hope for Nanotest is that we can scale this technology so that it's globally accessible. As a social enterprise, we have two main components to what we really want Nanotest to be, and that's a company that has affordable products that are also accessible to all. So a balance between being a for-profit company that sustains growth, but also allowing our products to be accessed to anyone who needs them and having different mechanisms and channels in which we can fulfill that promise to our customers.